Hi, Yogi, it's Bri, and welcome to your Total Body Strength Ladder Flow. Let's get started. start this practice seated in Sukhasana, crossing your right shin in front of your left and flexing your feet, taking your hands to your knees, letting your spine grow nice and tall, opening the heart and closing your eyes. In this 60 minute practice, we'll move and flow and strengthen and lengthen all parts of our body in search of not only that full body strength, but also the strength that it brings to our minds. Starting the practice with that deep, long clearing breath so that our minds are centered. Take a deep inhalation through your nose. Sigh it out. Open your eyes. Take your right hand to your left knee and just take your left hand behind you, taking a nice mild twist. Inhale to lengthen the spine, keep the feet flexed, and exhale, twist open a little bit more. Inhale back to center, reach your arms up, and exhale, fold all the way down. From here, stretching the arms all the way forward, rooting the hips back and just enjoying the fold. You can sway the torso from side to side, or you can just fold here in stillness, focusing on your breath. Just using this warm up to warm ourselves up before we get into the flow. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, sit all the way up. Now from here, either on your fingertips next to your hips or your palms flat, keeping the right ankle in front of the left ankle, bend your knees and pull your knees into your chest. Push down through your hands, inhale and exhale. Your feet are still on the ground. Just lift your hips up. You can keep your feet on the ground, warming up the core, or you can challenge your arms even more and lift your feet up, cross your legs the other way and sit down. Just a fun little nifty way to get to the other side. If it didn't work out, all you have to do is switch your legs. Left shin in front of the right. Flex your feet. Take your right fingertips behind you. Your left hand to your right knee. Inhale, lengthen the heart center. And exhale, twist towards the right shoulder. Pushing your right knee away from that right shoulder. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist a little deeper. Then inhale, look forward, and exhale, release the twist. Inhale, reach your arms up, and exhale, fold all the way down, keeping your feet flexed. Whatever you did on the other side here, try to mirror that so that both sides are even and balanced. That might not be the case in your body, but at least in your practice, let it be. Enjoying this fold, releasing the tension from your left hip. And then inhale, look forward. Exhale, sit on up. Keeping the legs crossed, just turn so now you're facing the front of the, your mat, unless you already are. Then take your hands down next to your hips, either palms flat or on the fingertips. Sometimes fingertips can be easier. Bending the knees into the chest, ankles crossed. From here, lift the butt up if it's not already there, and see if you can lift the feet up. If that's possible, just swing the legs back into a tabletop position. And if that wasn't possible and you're still on your butt, just step back into tabletop. Knees underneath your hips, hands underneath your shoulders. Really grip the ground with the fingertips. Push down through the index finger knuckles. Three cat cows. Inhale first to the back bend, lifting the heart, lifting the sits bones, maybe even the gaze. And exhale round. Chin to chest, tailbone down. And again, inhale, articulating the spine. Exhale, rounding, balancing it out. One more, inhale, finding that back bend, exhale, round. 
Inhale to that neutral spine, move the knees back a bit, tuck the toes under, exhale, downward facing dog. Still in that warm up stage, grip the ground again with your fingertips, even try to lift the forearms towards the fingertips, hug the forearms in, spread the shoulder blades wide, knit the ribs, and root the heels towards the earth, even if they don't touch the ground. Breathe. Hmm. Enjoying this first down dog, feeling the effects of this down dog on your body or in your body. One mindful vinyasa. Inhale, shift forward into your plank pose. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Knees can always be down. Either inhale, low cobra or upward facing dog, whatever feels good in the body. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your feet together. Look forward towards your hands. Come high to the toes. Bend the knees and just step forward. Nice and easy. Both feet to the front of the mat. Take your feet hips distance. Inhale to a flat back. And exhale, find Uttanasana forward fold. Sweep the hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers together. Press the palms together. If needed, a little bend in the knees. If the legs are straight, lift the quads and the sits bones up. Reach the knuckles overhead. Opening the shoulders. Hmm. Allowing the crown of the head to relax freely towards the earth. Sweeping the hands down towards the mat. Put a deep bend in your knees and just like a rag doll, slowly begin to unravel and unroll yourself all the way up to standing. Once you get there, open the shoulders out wide. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Gaze up as the palms touch. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale to a flat back. Now starting our ladder float, you're going to step that left foot back. Keep the left knee up off the ground. Make sure that the ball of the foot of that left foot is underneath the heel. So you might need to slide the foot back a little further than you're used to. You want that right thigh parallel to the ground. Draw the navel in. Stay at, in this 45 degree angle. Just take the arms back next to the hips. Hold. You're probably feeling that right hip starting to work. Keep drawing that right hip back and in towards the midline, pressing the left heel back, lifting the left inner thigh, and of course, drawing the navel in. Hold the 45 degree angle, just reach the arms forward. Woo! Say hello to that right hip. Then inhale, rise all the way up into your crescent. Rejoice that we're no longer working that right hip. Gaze up as the palms touch and exhale, step the left foot back to the front of the mat for the other side. Fold down. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, step your right foot back. Once again, making sure you're sliding the foot back enough so that the heel is over the ball of the foot and not behind it. Getting that left thigh parallel to the ground knitting the ribs in so you don't want to rest your belly on the left thigh and just taking your hands back next to the hips. This is where we really get to learn about our bodies, which side is weaker, which side is stronger, what's easier, what's harder. Take note. For me, this left side is much harder. <laughs> Drawing the navel in, really pressing the right heel back, hugging this left hip back and in towards the midline. As I keep my ribs in, I'm going to reach my arms forward. Join me in this oh so wonderfully hard position. You've got it. Hug the thighs in towards one another and inhale, rise all the way up. Crescent never felt so good. Lift the navel, even the back ribs lift as you bend deeply into that left knee. Inhale, gaze up as the palms touch. Exhale, take the hands down, step the right foot to meet the left, and fold. Inhale to a flat back. Let's do it again. Adding in some more. Left foot steps back. Once again, coming into that hovering position, arms back first. Then inhale, arms forward. Exhale, belly in. Inhale, rise all the way up into that crescent. 
Now exhale, how slowly can you lower that left knee down towards the mat? It'll be the only time we do this slowly. Then the left knee touches down. You're going to place both hands to the inside of that right foot. Now, just for this round, we're going to keep the right knee hugging in. So don't come into the um, external rotation or your lizard pose just yet. Left knee is down, right knee is hugging in. You can stay here with your hands on the ground. If you want a little bit more, you can lower down to the forearms. Keep hugging the right side of your body with the right inner knee. Feeling the big toe or even the inner ball of the right foot pressing down firmly. And if you want a little bit more sensation, you could even lift the left knee up off the ground. Beautiful job. And then from here, if you're on your forearms, come up onto your hands and just step your left foot to meet the right and fold down. Moving to the other side, inhale, flat back, exhale, step your right foot back, inhale, hover with the arms back, ribs in, exhale, inhale, reach the arms forward, still in that 45 degree angle, then rising all the way up into that crescent. Last time we have to do this slow. As you exhale, how slowly can you bend your right knee? almost to the ground, almost there. Don't touch the ground just yet. And then lower all the way down. Take both hands to the inside of that left foot. Once again, keeping the left knee hugging in. If you want a little more, you can lower down to the forearms. Breathing here. So you're feeling a stretch. You should be feeling something in the outer hip and the left hamstring, but you're also feeling a, an immense amount of work as you try to hug that left knee in towards the left side of the body. And if you did it on the other side, lift your right knee up for a little extra work. You can feel the core, even the adductors, the inseams of your legs. Then from here, if you're on your forearms, rise up onto your hands and just step forward. Front of the mat, feet, hips, distance, fold down. Nice and easy. Let's keep adding more poses in. You've got this. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, step your left foot back. Inhale to hover. Exhale, navel in. Inhale, arms forward. Use that same inhalation to rise all the way up. Exhale, lower your left knee down. Inhale, take the hands or the forearms to the inside of that right foot. Now, heel toe your right foot out towards the right. So you've got that lizard pose angle in that right foot, like Charlie Chaplin feet. And from here, you're just going to take your right hand to your right knee and push it away from you. That feels really nice. You can also do this if you're on the left palm. Now either stay here, if possible, reach your right arm up and then back, lift your left foot up and catch the left foot with your right hand, pulling it in. So going from opening that right hip to opening the top of that left thigh. Hmm. Beautiful. From here, reach the right arm back up. And then down, coming back up onto the hands. Make sure your right foot's pointing forward. Step your left foot to meet your right and folds. Switching to the other side. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, right foot steps back. Inhale, arms back, 45 degree angle. Belly in, exhale. Inhale, arms reach forward to rise you all the way up into that crescent. Exhale, lower that right knee all the way down, taking both hands to the inside of your left foot, heel toe your left foot over towards the left and angle the left toes out towards the left as well. Maybe you're on the hands or the forearms. Take your left hand, push your left knee away from you and stack the shoulders. Breathing here. Enjoying this yummy, yet strengthening stretch. 
From here, inhale, reach that left arm up. Keep reaching it until it reaches all the way back. Lift your right foot up off the ground. Try your best to catch the foot. If you can't catch it on the forearm, most likely you can catch it on the hand, on the right hand. And pull that right heel in. Keep the weight in the outer edge of that left foot. Maybe even flex your right foot as you pull the heel in. And enjoy. Inhale. And exhale. Hands down. Angle the left toes forward. Step your right foot to meet your left. And fold. I don't know about you, but my legs are starting to feel really warm. Let's keep moving. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, left foot steps back. Inhale, arms back first. Exhale, belly in. Inhale, arms come forward to lift you all the way up into that crescent. Exhale, lower down, Anjane. Inhale, take the hands down, heel toe the right foot out towards the right. This time we're going to stay on the hands rather than down to the forearms. Take your right hand to your right knee, push it away from you. Then inhale, sweep your right arm up and then back, catch that left foot, pull it in. Inhale, reach that left arm back up, tuck your left toes under, spin to the pinky toe edge of your left foot, and stack it into side plank, but don't let your feet touch. I know it's really easy just to come straight into that balance, but see if you can stack the feet without letting them touch, either having the feet right hovering above one another or lifting them up. Right foot up as high as you can. Keep pushing through that left hand, lifting the right foot up. Step your right foot forward, and then your left. And fold. Let's do the other side. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step your right foot back. Inhale, rise into that 45 degree angle, arms back. Navel in as you exhale. Inhale, rising up into that crescent pose. Exhale, lowering the right knee down. Inhale, taking the hand, right hand down. Left hand to the left knee as you angle the left foot out. Inhale, reach the arm forward, up, and then back to catch that foot. Pull it in. Inhale, left arm up. Tuck the right toes under. Lift the right knee up. Now spin to the pinky toe edge and see if you can extend that left foot over the right without them touching. Staying here or seeing how high you can lift that left leg up, kind of like a starfish position. Pushing through that right hand, pinky toe edge of the right foot, lifting the hips. Inhale. Exhale, step that left foot forward, the right foot forward, and fold down. Ooh, that's hard, but worth it. Inhale, flat back. Let's keep adding. Exhale, step your left foot back. Inhale, arms back. Exhale, belly in. Then inhale, reach the arms forward. Keep breathing in as you rise up. Exhale, lower the left knee all the way down. Inhale, left hand down. Right hand to the right knee, push it away from you. Then reach the right arm forward and then up, sweep it all the way back, grabbing that left foot. Inhale, reach your left arm back up. Tuck the left toes under, lift the left knee up off the ground. Spin to the pinky toe edge of the foot, finding your core engagement here, reaching that right leg back so it stacks, but it doesn't touch that left foot. Lifting, lifting, lifting that right leg as high as you can. This time when we step that right foot forward, we're going to stay there in that simple twist. Left hand down, right foot down, reach that right arm up. We're on the ball of that left foot. Now as if someone's helping you rise up, come up onto your fingertips. See if you can hug the thighs in so much so that you rise up into the standing twisted crescent. Open the right arm to the back of the mat, left arm to the front of the mat. Twist the right shoulder open. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, windmill the hands down. Step your left foot to meet the right and fold. We're going to keep it moving. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, right foot steps back. 45 degree angle, arms back. Inhale. Exhale, belly in. Inhale, rise up, crescent pose. Exhale, right knee comes down. 
right hand comes down as you take your left hand to your left knee angle the foot push it away from you then take the arm forward left arm forward make a circle or half circle really with it as you reach back and grab that right foot with the left hand inhale stretch that left arm up tuck the right toes under spin that right heel down find that starfish pose hovering that left foot as high as you can off of the right inhale exhale step your left foot forward come to the ball of the right foot right hand stays where it was left arm reaches up finding that simple twist I've never found it very simple I don't know why it's called that now for a not so simple lift gaze down come up onto the fingertips now gazing up at that left hand and pulling yourself all the way up into that standing twisted crescent right arm forward left arm back hugging the thighs and hold you've got it three two and one windmill the hands down step your right foot to meet the left and fold down great job let's keep moving keep getting that blood flowing and the body nice and strong inhale to a flat back exhale step that left foot back same thing inhale 45 degree angle exhale belly in inhale rise up finding that crescent pose exhale lowering that left knee down left hand comes down heel toe the right foot to the right push your right knee away from you inhale make that half circle with the right arm catch that left foot for a brief moment send your left foot back right arm up lift the knee finding your starfish pose lifting the right foot up as high as you can pushing through the hands inhale exhale step your right foot forward ball of the left foot come up onto the left fingertips inhale rising up into that standing twisted crescent now from here all we're gonna do is windmill so our right hand is gonna come in front of the right foot we're gonna step up on our right foot into Ardha Chandrasana so from a twist into this nice opening balancing pose left arm over the right make sure your right toes and right knee point forward it's completely normal for the right foot to do a little dance while it's learning to balance you can hold here in your half moon pose or bend the left knee reach back with that left hand catch the front of the foot and push the shin back behind you opening the entire left frontal side of the body Ooh. inhale fully exhale release to the fold front of the mat other side inhale flat back exhale right foot steps back inhale coming into that 45 degree angle belly in exhale inhale rise up into that crescent pose exhale right knee lowers right hand comes down underneath the right shoulder heel toe the left foot to the left push the left knee away from you then inhale sweep that left arm forward up and then back grab that right foot with the left hand Good. inhale reach the left arm back up tuck the right toes under spin to the pinky toe edge looking for that starfish position even if the starfish position has your right foot just above that uh, left foot just above the right foot you're good inhale exhale left foot steps forward finding that simple twist not so simple twist and then inhale rising up standing twisted crescent and from there windmilling left arm forward of the left foot stand tall on your left leg flex your right foot stack your arms and your shoulders and breathe I love balancing postures even if they're on my hands or my feet my elbows and my fingertips because they really catch your full attention for that moment that you're in them so belly in stabilize that left foot and hip maybe you catch that right foot behind you Whoop. maybe you fall either way you're doing your best but if you did chapasana on the other side do so here beautiful job inhale try not to slingshot if you're in chapasana and exhale fold to the front of the mat starting to feel those legs let's keep on adding inhale to a flat back exhale step your left foot back 
Inhale to that 45 degree angle, arms back. Exhale, yet again, navel in. Inhale, rise up into that crescent pose. Exhale, lower your left knee all the way down. Inhale, put the hands down, left hand underneath the left shoulder, right foot out to the right, right hand to the right knee, twist open. Inhale, sweep the right arm forward, up and back. Exhale, pull that left foot in. Inhale, reach that left arm or right arm up. Tuck the left toes under, spin to the pinky toe edge. Starfish side plank. Inhale fully. Exhale, right foot steps forward. Right arm reaches up. We're on the ball of that left foot. Inhale, rise up into that standing twisted crescent. Exhale, Ardha Chandrasana. Right arm windmills forward. This time we're not going to catch Chapasana. We're going to flow right through it. Inhale, bend your right knee. And as you exhale, the left foot lands. Point the left toes to the back of the mat and end up with the right leg straight in your surfer's lunge. Open the arms out wide. Since we're holding it on this round, you can do anything you like. You can wrap the left tricep around the left shin, catch the right hand. You can even sit all the way down if that feels good. Whatever feels good in your body. I'm breathing here. If you're seated, lift the butt back up. Take the hands forward towards the right foot and just step to the front of the mat, folding down. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, right foot steps back. We're just going to keep moving through this until we've learned the flow. Inhale, arms back, 45 degree angle. Exhale, draw your belly in. Inhale, rising up into that crescent. Exhale, right knee comes all the way down. Right hand down as you inhale, angle the left toes. As you exhale, push the left knee away from you to twist open. Then inhale, sweep that left arm forward, up and back. Catch your right foot, pull it in. Inhale, left arm stretches up. Exhale, take that starfish side plank, finding the engagement in the right side of the body. Inhale, exhale, left foot steps forward, ball of the right foot. Simple or not so simple twist. Inhale, rising up, standing twisted crescent. Whoop. Exhale, windmill the left hand down, Ardha Chandrasan. Linking these poses, adding on the surfer's lunge on this left side. So slowly start to bend that left knee. Very gracefully lower your right foot down, right foot angles to the back of the mat, bend the right knee, straighten that left leg. And again, anything you did on the other side, maybe you open the arms, possibly you bind it up. Sometimes we like to sit down, possibly to cheat. <laughs> There's no cheating. It's your body. It's your practice. Do what feels good. Breathing here. If you've got that bind, opening that left shoulder. If you're seated on your butt like I am, lift the butt back up. Slowly walk to the front of the mat. Step your right foot to meet your left and fold. Take a deep breath through the nose. Sigh it out. And I think we should keep going until we know the whole flow and we can flow it together. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, step that left foot back. Inhale, arms back, belly in as you exhale. Inhale, rising up, crescent pose. Exhale, lower the left knee down. Place the left hand down, right hand to the right knee, twist open. Inhale, open the right arm into that half circle until it catches that left foot. Exhale, finding that starfish side plank. Inhale. Exhale, step the right foot forward into that simple twist. Then inhale, rise all the way up, standing twisted crescent. Exhale, windmill to the right hand, Ardha Chandrasana. Inhale from here, bend your right knee. As you exhale, lower it down, bend the left knee, straighten the right leg, open the arms. Then exhale, this time we're going to go to the back of the mat, turn so that the left Toes, point the back of the mat. Left knee is bent, right knee is straight. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, standing splits on that left leg. 
holding here. We're gonna add a little bit of spice to the standing splits. Instead of keeping that right leg bent, bend the knee. And if you want to take your left shoulder to the inside of your left knee and reach up and just hook a hold of that right foot, you can smile. It's fun. And if that's not happening, just take your traditional grabbing hold of that left ankle, bending the right knee. Inhale to a flat back, not only because I love handstands, but this is a total body workout. So we are going to practice some hopping. Plant the palms flat, grip the ground with the fingertips, gaze between the thumbs, knit the ribs in for that hollow front body. Even if you're not balancing in the center of the room, all you're going to do is hop off your left foot just a tiny bit lower down. Hug the thighs in, keep the legs straight. Try that two more times. Hop, lower. One more hop and take it back through the vinyasa, whether it's lowering down, stepping back, plopping back, anything that works for you. Downward facing dog. Hey, that was our first vinyasa of the practice. Hopefully, second really. First vinyasa in the flow. Hope it felt good. <laughs> 